Gina Rocha. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, sir. Hey, Charles, we're going through a red light on Branch and Child Street. We're going to take a look at it. Okay? Yes, sir. And this was at uh, this was at midnight. Midnight. Mm -hmm. Coming from Boston. Let's take a look. Okay, sir, there's a sign, no turn on red. It's very visible right there, and your vehicle made a right-hand turn on red. The light is yellow, it's red, and you made the turn. All right, there's one thing that can help you. What's the time on this place? Point four. Inspector Quinn, given the time and the weather, given the clear weather, midnight, absolutely no traffic on the road, He's one tenth of a second off what we would ordinarily. He's two tenths. You know, no, well, one tenth. I, I usually do it at three. And clearly the sign's there. Clearly the light was red. Clearly he made the turn. Clearly you're going to make the decision. <laughs> <laughs> clearly I'm going to dismiss it. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Good Thank luck. you very much. Your court room is, is pleasant. I come from Boston, but I got to tell you this. Uh, this city I like, the city of Providence. I've been in Boston for 29 years, and I came to know that there's a lot of camera in the street of Providence. I didn't know that after that. Then I can tell you, uh, I like the city of Providence. It's clean, it's small, and it's cozy. If I have to move after Boston 29 years, it's going to be Providence. I feel like I can live here. And your courtroom is pleasant. You are a healer. Good luck to you. Thank you. <laughs> I was happy to hear Mr. LaRosa say how much he likes the city of Providence. Having been born and raised here, I share his passion for the city. Providence was founded in 1636 by Roger Williams, who declared it a safe haven for the oppressed and encouraged liberty and tolerance for all. 382 years later, the city has remained true to its founding principles. Besides being one of the most diverse and welcoming cities in America, it's also a heck of a lot of fun. On summer weekends, the three rivers in downtown Providence are lit by over 80 bonfires in the world-famous water fire celebrations. We are proud to have one of America's most beautiful performing arts center, an award-winning repertory company, and world-class restaurants. So please, come visit us. And Mr. La Rosa, if you decide to move to Providence, we will welcome you with open arms. Just be careful where you park. Good morning. Good morning, Carol. Who's this with you? Your lawyer? Hmm? Is your lawyer with you? <laughs> no, <laughs> my son. What's his name? Junior. Hi. Hi. You have six parking tickets. Mm -hmm. What do you want to tell me about these? <laughs> the problem is, is I'm not driving that car. You didn't drive the car? No. Who drives it? My boyfriend. Your boyfriend? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Well, why isn't he here today? Because my, the car is saying on my name. Oh, I know that. No, <laughs> I know. <clears throat> yeah. I know. Is he in court? Is he in court this morning, your boyfriend? No. No. So he, he's driving a car. It's under your name. He gets tickets, and he sends you to court with your, with your son. <laughs> hmm? Is that, is that the story? Yeah. <laughs> so. my, my next question is, did he give you the money? No. He gave you no money. <laughs> Young man, come up here. Up here. Come on. <clears throat> oh, Lord. What is your name? Junielle. Junielle. Now, this is your mom? Yes. How old are you? Eight. Now, when you get old, like Inspector Quinn, what do you want to be? What do you want to be when you get older? A police. A policeman. Do you want to be like Inspector Quinn? A policeman right there. Okay, well, if you were a policeman and someone said to you, uh, my boyfriend got these tickets and he's home uh, and I'm here, but my boyfriend didn't give me any money, he just sent me down with my son, what would you say? That. Dismiss. Dismiss. What do you say? Dismiss. Come on, be honest now, you're a cop. Yes. All right, what are you going to say to that excuse? Dismiss. Dismiss? <laughs> You're not going to pass the exam to get on the police force if you say that. I, t I think right. he meant he was telling his mom to dismiss him. Yeah, get rid maybe. Of him. Maybe. Is that really what you would do? Hmm? Listen to, look at me. Don't look at your mother. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. 
Right. Now, you're a police officer, and somebody gave you that excuse, right? I didn't do it. Somebody else did it. My boyfriend, he's not in court today. He stayed home, and he sent me to court. What would you say to her? Would you say to her, well, go get him and bring him to court and let him pay? Would you say that? Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey. Yes. 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 Your son wants you to get him and bring him to court and let him pay. I think that's what you should do, too. Okay. You're a good guy. Good luck to you. I hope you have a great future. You too. Okay. <laughs> Who's your favorite person in the world? Mm. Your mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your mom, okay, good for you. You know, I have a great deal of sympathy for people, but I don't for people who would send a girlfriend down when they got the tickets with, with a young man, right, to pay their tickets. Like, he belongs there, and he didn't give you the money. What do you expect me to do? I don't know. I'm going to continue the case. I'm going to continue it. We're going to get, you're going to come back the next time I'm on the court. It's going to be in two weeks. Give her a new date, right? If he doesn't come back, you're gonna end up paying. I want him down here. Okay. All right, good luck. I'm a big believer in individual responsibility. If you make a mess, it's your job to clean it up. I look forward to meeting Miss Cruz's boyfriend. I expect that by the time he leaves our courtroom, he too will understand the importance of individual responsibility and the cost of not accepting it. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.